Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, let us discuss what are the important video courses that you can take to become a complete Java backend developer. Well, I have around 10 video courses and out of 10 my video courses, I want to suggest you 5 video courses that you can take to become a complete Java backend developer. Well, you can begin with Spring 6, Spring Boot 3 for beginners course. So this course I have designed especially for beginners who want to learn Spring and Spring Boot from the scratch. If you know Java, then you can go ahead and take this course. In this course, you will learn Spring Core 6, Spring Boot 3, REST API, Spring MUC, Spring Web Plugs, Spring Security, Spring Data JPA, Docker and Thumblip. Next, once you are familiar with Spring Framework and Spring Boot, next you are good to develop the real-time project, right? So next I want to suggest my best seller course that is building real-time REST APIs with Spring Boot. In this course, you will learn how to build the real-time REST APIs using industry standard approach. You will basically learn how to build the REST APIs using Spring Boot, Spring Security, JWT, Spring Data JPA, Hibernate, MySQL, Docker and finally you will learn how to deploy the real-time REST API project on AWS. Next, I am going to suggest one more course to build the real-time project that is Spring Boot 3. Thymleap real-time web application. Well, in this course, you will learn how to build the real-time web application that is blog web application using Spring Boot and Thymleap. Next video course that I would like to suggest is testing Spring Boot application with JUnit, Marquito and test containers. Well, as a Java developer, you have to know how to perform unit testing and integration testing for a Spring Boot application. Well, in this course, basically you will learn how to write unit tests and integration tests for a Spring Boot application using JUnit, Marquito, AssertJ, Hamcrust, JSON Path and test containers. Alright, next course I would like to suggest is building microservices with Spring Boot and Spring Cloud. Well, nowadays microservices skill is very important for Java developers. So in this course, you will learn how to build the microservices using Spring Boot, Spring Cloud, React, Kafka, RabbitMQ, REST API and Docker. Alright, so these are my 5 top Udemy courses that I would like to suggest you to enroll and become a complete Java backend developer. Well, let me recap the order. Begin with Spring Boot 6 and Spring Boot 3 for beginners. Once you complete this course, next start building real-time REST APIs with using Spring Boot. Next, start Spring Boot 3 Thymleap real-time web application course. Once you complete this course, next start testing Spring Boot application with JUnit, Marquito and test containers. Once you complete this course, next you can go ahead and take this building microservices with Spring Boot and Spring Cloud course. Alright, so follow this order so that you will learn everything about Spring Boot, Spring Framework and microservices from the scratch. Alright, I hope this roadmap helps you to become a complete backend Java developer. Alright, so let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below so that I can able to answer your questions. Alright, great. I will see you in the next video.